as usual, I'm not prepared as I turn the camera on, which is not a very smart idea, but that's just the way it goes. That's just the way sometimes I roll. Um, before I get to, look, um, there's a lot happening in the world as usual, uh, but there's something that just came across my um, radar. Uh, uh, yeah, I got a bat radar. No, that's not true. Um, uh, and it has to do with the uh, Colon Panama. Uh, now, I've been to Colon Panama a while ago. I actually, right before New York, New York I got, you know, deported deposed or whatever you want to want to call it. Anyway, uh, what they're doing is the re regular gentrification. The, the thing they're doing to all cities, uh, most cities in the United States, all cities around the world, even South Africa, ev every place, where it's being re well gentrified. I say re gentrified. Well, gentrified. In other words, they're moving the poor people out. I tell them get out of here, go to outline here, and then we're gonna make this thing all nice and rosy for uh, for um, uh, you know I don't like to deal with race uh, too much for for the well to do. Let's put it that way. Usually, the well-to-do don't have this. You know, well, I want you. the well-to-do don't look like the people that are being displaced. You know, they, they sort of the opposite end of the uh, of the spectrum. Let's put it that way. Uh, so that's what's happening in Panama. Um, I sent a, a, an email to a, to a, somebody I know in Panama that lives in Panama. To, you know, to get to, to, to on the ground thing because I don't really like news reports and you know and stuff like that. They, they they go through gatekeepers, so there has to be. How do you say? So they're always tampered with. Let's put it that way. And so I really like to uh, get, get people that's on the uh, on the ground uh, to to talk about what's going on. Uh, uh, so that's the, but just just know that that it's like in the '60s we call it um, '50s and '60s. You know when Eisenhower came back from his war, in, uh, well from the war World War Two. Uh, but he realized when the Germans built the autobahns or whatever have you, that the uh, the, the, the highways were autobahn, um, they were big enough so that you know military vehicles could go down. So when he came back, he started this whole highway system in the United States, which uh, made it so you know bigger vehicles. You know, here they get two, three lane highways. So it's for cars. No, no, it's for military vehicles to to go around. General Eisenhower, remember, he's a general, or was a general. Well, he's generally he dead, but whatever it is. Uh, but because of that initiative, what they do is they, they cut through a lot of the established uh, uh, downtrodden areas, well, in uh, downtrodden areas, uh, uh, and destroying those neighborhoods, making those people move someplace. Blah, blah, blah. But that's what's happening in Colón, Panama, uh, right now in uh, 2018, even though this, this, this program, this well home program, going through all the 60s, to what they call urban renewal, Negro removal, uh, happened in, in all over the cities, all over the United States, in this, in this, in this basically the 60s and 70s. So, anyway, the same thing happened in Colón, Panama. But I want to um, uh, bring something up if I can. Hey, man, how come? I know I have it here. Oh, wait a second. Come on now. Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. Oh, man. Wow. Um, what I want to talk about something that's much more, uh, not much more, but it's important uh, to me and it has to do with, uh, and I can't find this, uh, I usually have it on my thing. What is this? Why don't I have it? Okay. Okay, sorry. I have something to do without it. Uh, uh, what's happening right now in Ghana, the uh, first... Um, uh, African nation uh, to decolonize, and that was well, get kick the colonists out. Let's put it that way. Um, and you know, the, 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 the nation with the with the black star in the flag um, uh, on the west uh, West Africa, basically, uh, where a lot of uh, this slave castle there, where a lot of um, uh, descendants of child slavery uh, um, started their journey, you know, through the Middle Passage and ended up in all places in the. In, in the in the uh, you know North American, Caribbean, South American areas. Well, um, uh, recently, uh, a couple of years ago, when there was, they discovered you know oil reserves off the coast of Ghana. So now you know what happens when they dis when this discovers oil. The United States needs oil for their military. So what they do, and for other things. So what they do is they send military um, advisors, whatever, the country to make sure that, you know, because there might be some unrest that perhaps they cause, you know, CIA, whatever, that they cause, and they're going to advise the, uh, they're going to basically militarize the, uh, the, the existing police force or the existing military so that, so that if anything happens, you know what I mean, they can protect the country and, you know, all of that stuff. Um, but uh, it was just announced that, um, the U.S. is sending military presence to Ghana 
you know, to advise, you know, uh, the, um, you know, the, 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 the military and whoever the police force is there. Uh, for what reason? I don't know. Because just a couple of years ago, at the same time I guess Buddha oil was, was, was discovered, uh, Ghana made a decision. Remember, Ghana is the place that, uh, um, well, I remember where it came from, but, but it's the place that uh, W.E.B. Du Bois is buried after he went through his long journey of awakeness and then finally he came to a realization that Africa was the place. Anyway, he's, he's buried there. Um, I have friends that, that live there. Uh, anyway, uh, well, they uh, wanted, I'm going to just say it right out, I'll not predict it, but just say it right out, got to destabilize that country. Got to destabilize that country. Because don't destabilize because you can't get the oil. If the country controls the oil, I mean, real people, not the politics, you know, got to buy off the politics or whatever, because if, 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 if they're not bought off, and whatever happens, that oil revenues, most of it will go to the war machine that is the United States of North America, which is how they, which is why the dollar is so strong. Because anytime you try to go against the dollar, they send the military in to destabilize your country and blah 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 blah. I mean, think what think what happened with with um, with Libya. I know. Remember what you think about Gaddafi. And we'll remember Sarkozy. You know, the, the the guy that was the whatever the, the president of France. You know, what I mean, one of the reasons why uh, they 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 had Gaddafi killed was because you know France owed money. And Gaddafi was going to pay that back. Gaddafi was also going to make sure there was a, a, the African Union was going to have a, a currency for all, for all Africa, which would, which would actually uh, go against the dollar, you see? Now, if, if all Africa has one, one currency, or the world had one country currency, and the, and the dollar wasn't controlling everything, then you couldn't, you couldn't run your military to, to destabilize countries, and, and you understand what I'm trying to say. So, so this is bad news. When I say it's bad news, no, it's bad news for people who are into justice. Justice meaning, you know, to guarantee that no one is, is you know, is, is treated unfairly. You know, guarantee that that, uh, that that you have a good life. You know what I mean? Uh, because the people that are against justice, which is namely the, the people that do this kind of stuff, you know what I mean? They don't want an even playing field. They don't want a, a guarantee that all people are not mistreated. They want to mistreat people because by mistreating people and sowing, you know, seeds of dissension, you know, have people against each other, you know, creating a, a tiny middle class, you know, uh, that, that has to that try to protect their stuff and a huge underclass downtrodden, you know, and a, and a tiny, tiny, a tinier than tiny uh, ruling, so-called ruling class, right? Well, that's the control. Yeah, because the rule, the, the, the so-called ruling class, you know, they have this whole middle class that have their self-interest, trying to um, make sure that they keep their stuff, and they keep their stuff by preying on the downtrodden. You see how it goes? You understand what I'm trying to say, and I've said it before. So, these are trying times. That's what the world is talking about. Anyway, this is an observation from me, T, from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.